podcast. Okay. okay, super. So now I'm going to mute you again. All right. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to actually start standing today. And I know you guys, you might not be able to see my head, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. And um, we're just going to soften our knees a little bit. Bring your hands to your thighs, round your spine. Exhale, feel your ribs drawing up and in, getting a little stretch across your back. And then reach your tail and your heart in different directions. Pull your shoulder blades together. So we're arching the spine, pulling the tummy up and in. So we're protecting the low back, but just getting a nice big stretch in the front. Exhale, let's round the spine again. Scooping through the belly, maybe even wag your tail side to side so you get an extra little stretch across your spine. And then reach the heart and tail in opposite directions. Inhale, exhale to curl. Inhale to reach, exhale to curl. Let your eyes either soften or close or follow the movement of your spine so that you don't necessarily have to be looking at the screen the whole time. Curling under and reaching the heart up. A couple more times, starting to build some heat in the legs, especially if your knees are pretty bent. And allowing the spine to really move. On this next curl, we're gonna roll all the way up, straightening through the legs, and rolling up through the head. Let's roll the shoulders around a couple times. Big, juicy shoulder circles. And actually, I can just face you guys. So rolling those shoulders up and back, and allowing the shoulder blades to really move on the spine and around the rib cage. Let's come forward with the shoulders. Let's take one shoulder back, twist the spine, and take the other shoulder back to twist the spine. So I'm gonna keep my legs pretty straight here. I was just bending my knees a little bit so you guys could see how I was rolling my shoulders up and back. This is my like little, uh, Dirty dancing move. If you guys ever saw that movie, I was obsessed with it as a child. So this is your dirty dancing moment just to loosen up the spine. And let's go the other way. So we go forward with one shoulder, twist. Forward with the other shoulder to twist. Keep going. Should feel good. You can allow your head to really turn side to side as well. Again, I'm a big proponent of looking away from the screen when you can, allowing the eyes to inform your movement. Okay, letting the shoulders rest back and down. We're gonna do our, some of our footwork today in a standing position. And because you guys already have the um, kinesthetic experience of what it feels like to push against the spring load, we're really going to be drawing on that somatic sensation, right, of pushing through the spring like you're moving through something really gooey. So I'm going to turn to the side just so you can kind of check out my spine. My legs are going to start in parallel, just in line with my sits bones. And I'm gonna hinge my torso just a little bit forward. So I'm not rounding in my back to make that happen. In fact, you can make a little triangle around your sacrum with your pointer fingers at your tail to make sure you're not tucking your tail. As you hinge forward just a little bit, just a few inches, because when we're on the reformer, our feet are generally in front of us when we start. And we're just going to bend our knees and you can allow your torso to hinge forward just a little bit more and then push the floor away as you start to come back upright. And again, bending and pushing. 
So trying to find that sensation of like a gooey push, right? All the muscles around the kneecaps pushing into the floor. Let's just go for three and press. Two and press. Last one. Let's press. Keep that little baby hinge forward and we're going to lift the heels up and down. Up and down. You might feel that your balance is being tested here, which is a good thing. If you do need a wall or something to hold on to, you can totally go up to a wall and, and have that help you. Otherwise, you're just in the middle of the floor trying to draw your belly in, keep your nice neutral spine as you lift your heels and lower. Now we're gonna lift our heels up. We're gonna try to keep them more or less up off the floor as we go back into that knee bend. Bending and pushing the floor away. Bending pushing the floor away. Let's use our breath. Inhale. Exhale to press. Inhale. Exhale to press. This is a good challenge. Inhale. Exhale, press. One more. Inhale. Exhale, press. Slowly lower those heels down. Take one foot slightly in front of you, one foot slightly behind. And let's just stretch that calf out for a minute. So you can bend your front leg, feeling a little stretch in your back calf. If you want more of a stretch, walk that foot back a little bit more. You can rest your hands onto your front thigh and just find a nice relaxed position with your torso. Pushing through that back heel to get a little stretch. And let's change sides. I have one side that's tighter than the other. I don't know about you guys out there. Pushing through that front thigh to allow your torso to just rest and reaching long through your back heel, trying to get it to touch the floor. Good. And coming back in. I'm going to face you for this one because we're going to take a little Pilates V. So not super turned out like you might see in a belly class, but like a narrow V so your heels can really stay glued together the whole time. I'm going to place one hand on my low belly, one hand on my sacrum. Draw the two hands together by pulling your low abs in and keeping your neutral spine. We're going to go for that little bend. My torso comes forward. I straighten my legs. I zip my inner thighs together, pull up through the belly, reach through the crown of the head. Bend the knees and press. Here we go. For eight, and press. Seven, press. Six, squeeze. Five, breathing. Four, and three, two, last one. Keep your legs straight. Heels stay together. Little baby lifts of the heels. Don't let your heels come apart. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Draw the low abs in. You're doing great. Again, if you need something to hold on to to balance, that's totally fine. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Go ahead and just shake one leg out. Shake your other leg out. And we'll come to the floor for a little mat work. So if you have a dish towel, sorry, I forgot to tell you guys this at the very beginning. This is really helpful. So go grab yourself a little dish towel or a hand towel, something that's a little wider than your shoulders. I'll give you like a minute to go grab something real quick. And then once you have your dish towel, we're gonna continue our footwork, but now we're on our back, which is such a lovely position to be in to really find our abs. 
So allow that sacrum to settle down into neutral. And you've got your heavy um, pelvis, right? So rather than being tucked, we've got that nice heavy tail. We're gonna place the dish towel behind the right knee. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and extend my left leg out onto the floor, flex my left ankle, reach through the heel. I'm gonna try to keep my elbows glued to the mat. And I know the lighting kind of stinks in here, so sorry, it'll be kind of dark, but my elbows are nice and glued to the floor. So I'm using my back a little bit and I'm pressing the back of my leg into the towel. So if my leg were to win this game of tug of war, my arms would straighten, but it's not gonna win. My arms are gonna keep a really cinched down position here. And I'm just gonna stretch that leg out and bend it back in, press and back in. So we press out for almost like two counts, one, two, back in, one, two, press out, one, two, back in, one, Two, let's go for four, and in, and three, press, and in, and two, in, last one, and in. Next, from here, we're gonna add a challenge. So we're floating the left leg up off the floor just a couple inches. I know, low belly, right away. Same thing, we press out for two, back in for two, keep pulling. So the exercise is really only as hard as you can keep pulling on your towel. Let's go four, three, and two, and last one, keep that leg out there. Keep pressing into it. We're gonna lift the left leg up and down to a hover. Up and down. Press it up. Lower it down. Breathe. And down, last two. Up and down. Come on, low belly. Up and down. Rest that left leg onto the floor. Go ahead and take your towel on top of your shin. So I have my towel kind of close to my knee rather than being down towards my ankle. And this time I can let the um, leg win in this game of tug of war. So I'm straightening my arms. I'm pulling straight down with my arms. So immediately I feel all those mid back muscles and tricep muscles firing. And we're just gonna pulse the leg up a couple inches, down a couple inches, pulsing, pulsing. So we're pressing into that towel, trying to get that quadricep to fire on the right leg. And press, and press, keep going, and press. For eight, seven, six, five, I know you're doing great, four, three, two, one. Keep it up there. You're gonna keep pressing into that leg, so keep it at a 90 degree angle. Keep pulling down with your arms. We're gonna add a little head flip. And curl, and back. Exhale, scoop. And back, here we go, for eight, and seven, breathe, six, five, four, belly goes in, three, two, and one, excellent. Go ahead and wrap that towel around the ball of your right foot. Don't worry, we're gonna switch to the left soon. Reach that leg up towards the ceiling for a little hamstring stretch. Now, if this is too extreme for you, like your hamstring is just so tight, you can't even get it here, reach it behind the knee. No worries, or behind the calf.
Good. So let's change legs. Go ahead and extend your right leg out. Now the towel goes behind the left knee. And I can start by pinning my elbows down to the floor. And I'm just gonna reach the back of my left leg into that towel as I press it out long and then bring it back in. So I'm pressing and bringing it back in. Again, it's only as challenging as you can make it with the towel, right? So if, you're, um, if you don't have a good grip on the towel or if you just feel like you're not really getting the exercise, try pinning your elbows to the floor and stabilizing through the arms and the back and the torso as you press through the back of that leg. Press. Let's go for four. And three. And two. And one. Okay, we're gonna keep going with this, but you're gonna hover the right leg up. And press and press a little bit harder press press four more for four and three two last one keep it up let's bring the right leg up and reach it out long right leg up reach it out long notice if you have a tendency to want to Lose connection with your back ribs to the mat. Try to keep your back ribs really pinned down tight, anchored down to the floor. Almost there. Four. And three. Two. I can't hear you breathing, but I know you're breathing. <laughs> Last one. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to now take the towel to the top of the shin, kind of close to the knee. And now the arms are going to stay straight, like they're trying to pull down straight, no bent elbows, nice and straight, using your triceps. We're pressing the shin into that towel a couple inches and then back down. So now we really feel that game of tug of war happening. My arms really trying to draw down in space as my shin is trying to kick into that towel, waking up that left quadricep. And I will say there won't be a ton of movement with this exercise, right? Because if I straighten my leg too much, I, I lose the towel, it starts to slip up my leg. So it's just a few inches. Almost there. For four, three, two, one. Now I hold that press of my shin into the towel. I'm adding an upper ab scoop. Here we go. Curl it. And curl. For four, three. Ugh. Two, last one, uh, amazing. Take that towel underneath the ball of your foot, give it a little hamstring stretch, straighten out that leg. Again, if that's too extreme, take the towel behind your calf or behind your knee, right, to give it some space away from your nose. But if you're a flexy person, you can probably hook your foot into the towel. Just taking a couple of breaths here, noticing all these hairs. <laughs> and then releasing that foot. Okay, from here, the towel goes straight up towards the ceiling. Knees are bent. I'm gonna curl my tail and roll up into a bridge. In this bridge position, I want you to just take some inventory for a moment. Are you equally weighted between both legs and both sides? Can you press all 10 toes into the floor as well as your heels and the outer edges of your foot and your big toe ball? 
From here, take an inhale, reach your arms back behind you. Keep reaching your arms back as you roll down through the spine. So you're trying to fight for as much articulation as you can. Rolling down, releasing into neutral, and bringing the arms back up. Here we go, we're rolling up. One vertebra at a time. Pressing evenly between both legs. Arms reach back. Inhale. Exhale, roll it down. Oh, it feels so good. Finding neutral, arms come up. A couple more times, curl the tail, roll it up. Reach the arms back and soften the spine down one vertebra at a time. And arms come up to the ceiling. So now we're gonna add a little challenge, imagining that we're doing a bridge on a reformer. So curl into your tail, come up into your bridge. Imagine that you have to pull your torso towards your heels, right? And because we're not on a reformer that moves, we're on a sticky surface on the ground, you're just gonna pulse in using the hamstrings. And I don't know if you guys can really see what's happening here. I'm just rocking myself in and out. So I'm not pulling myself in by adjusting where my feet are at all. I'm just pulling with my hamstrings. And if you're doing it right, you might get cramp, and that's fine. Just roll on down. Keep going with me if you're doing okay. So we're gonna keep this little rock going. Try not to lose the height in your pelvis. See if you can stay up high in that bridge. So we're gonna pulse for four, three, two, one, as the arms go back. And then pulse to bring the arms back up. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Back. Four, three, two, one. And up. Four, three, two, one. Now bring the towel all the way to your hips. Yeah. We're going to pulse with it down at our hips. For four, three, two, one. Bring the towel all the way back. Hold it there. For four. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, my hamstrings down to your hips. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. All the way back. Pulse it in. Four, three, two, one. Keep your arms where they are. Roll down through your spine. One vertebra at a time. Holy guacamole. Okay. Don't know if you guys felt that as much as I did. <laughs> Extend your legs out long. On the floor, arms are still reaching long overhead. Take a big breath. Just allow your ribs to inflate in all directions. As you exhale, funnel those ribs tight towards your spine. Arms come up to the ceiling. We're gonna nod the chin towards the chest and peel the spine all the way up to the seated position. Oh my gosh, just coming to a seated position is stretching my hamstrings here. Pretty impressive. If you can, flex your feet, reach energetically through the heels. Big inhale here, exhale, curl to roll yourself back down one vertebra at a time. Arms go back behind you, inhale. Exhale, drop the ribs, float the arms up, curl into your spine, let's roll it up one vertebra at a time. Sitting tall, big inhale, exhale, roll it back. One more time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, ribs drop down. <sighs> Arms float up. Scoop through your belly. And sit it up tall. Okay. We're going to try to hook our towel over our feet. <clears throat> and from here, you can round the spine. So find a nice C curve with your spine and a gentle hamstring stretch. We're gonna go ahead and move from this scooped curl position to an elongated spine, kind of folded forward just a little bit. If this is too much on your hamstrings, just bend your knees slightly, right? Scooch this way so you guys can see. So you can do the whole thing with slightly bent knees, rounding the spine. And then hinging slightly forward, pulling your shoulders onto your back. 
right? If your legs were straight, you round the spine. And then pull yourself forward at a diagonal. This is gonna prepare us for a little seated footwork series that sometimes we do on the reformer. So we're trying to use our belly muscles here and then use all of our back and posture muscles here by pulling those arm bones into the sockets. One more time. Scoop. And reach. Good, now we're gonna stay with this reached position. Again, your knees can be slightly bent if it's too much on your hamstrings. Pass both ends of your towel to your left hand. Keep this reach long through the spine as you open the right arm out to a twist. And what I like about this feeling is that I'm leaning back slightly on that towel, but I'm not disconnecting from my left shoulder as I twist and open. Looking back at your right fingertips, wiggle on, make sure you can see them, and then come back forward. Let's switch sides, opening the left arm around. Sitting up tall, pulling on that towel to reach that left arm back and around. Wiggle your fingertips. Make sure you can see them. And then bring it back. Okay, let's switch a little bit quicker. We're gonna inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, draw your navel in. Exhale, inhale, reach tall through the spine. One more set, reach and reach. And finish, awesome. Just forward fold, you can relax, release that towel and just find a nice forward fold, stretching over your hamstrings for a moment and then rolling it up. Go ahead and bounce your knees for a minute, just shake your legs out. Okay, we've got our towel again. And we're gonna take it back behind our neck and skull. So I have it about at the base of my skull, right where my neck and my head meet. My knees are slightly bent, and I'm gonna start by sitting up tall, allowing my head to go back a little bit, like I'm making a little arch, lifting my chest up. Inhale, exhale, go the other way, curl your tail, look down towards your pubic bone, and rock back to just behind the tailbone to where you find your sacrum. Dive forward, and sit it up tall again. Inhale, get as tall as you can, reach that chest up, up, up. Exhale, curl your tail, looking down towards your pubic bone, roll back to your sacrum. Dive it forward, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, curl. <sighs> Couple more times. Dive it forward, reach it up. <gasps> and exhale, curl. <sighs> Last time, inhale up. Exhale, scoop back. Now roll back all the way to your low back. Stay here. Try reaching your low back towards the floor. You can allow the backs of your ribs to rest onto the mat as well. The towel should have the weight of your head completely. We're gonna go ahead and float. Right leg, left leg up to tabletop, and then back down, right leg, left leg. Same leg, right, left, right, and left. Keep going, right, and left, right, and left, right, left, right, left, other side, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Draw your belly in, keep going. Left, right, left, right. Oh my gosh, last one. Left, right, left, right. Stay scooped, little pulses up for eight, seven, six. Oh my gosh, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down, open your arms to a goal post position. So your elbows are bent, palms facing up. Allow your knees to swivel to the right. Look to the left. And come back to center. 
Knees swivel left, look to your right. And come back to center. Yes. Okay. We're going to take that towel. And also, you guys, just so you know, I have this folded up blanket situation here. And it's kind of nice to put that behind my head. It's not necessary, but if you're used to having like a little head prop and you notice that you're feeling like a lot of tension in the front of your neck, just give your head a little prop. It could be a really like um, small pillow or a folded up blanket that can help. So feel free to do that. And we're going to go ahead and take our towel and place it around both of our ankles now. Yeah, nice. So now I'm going to rest my feet onto the floor. They're not together. They have about sit bones with distance apart. And I feel like because the towel is not very long, that the minute I start to sneak my toes and walk my feet away from me, it really tugs on my arms to really pull down my back and it slides my shoulder blades down my spine so that my neck is long. That's what we want to keep here. So we're going back to a little bridging with a long neck. Now we've got a neutral bridge. So we're going to press into the feet, lift the pelvis up, and then lower down in neutral. Let's just kiss the mat with our sacrum and lift right back up. Little kiss and up. Kiss and up. Long neck. Kiss and up. Let's go for eight. And seven. And six. Feel that booty and hamstring working. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Next. So we should feel really solid keeping our neutral bridge. Now I'm just going to sneak my right foot out. My left ankle is still pinned against that towel and I'm going to go ahead and flex my right heel and press it into the floor just next to my left leg. So I'm lifting up to my bridge and now I'm going to go ahead and bring my right leg up to a tabletop position. Bring it back down, press that right heel into the floor, lift the right leg up. Bring it down, press it into the floor. Bring it up. Press it down into the floor one more time. Lift it up. And press it down, nice. Let's go ahead and lower down into neutral. Sneak your right foot back into that towel. Now the left heel is onto the floor. We lift up in neutral. And we float left leg up. And then press the left heel oh, into the floor. And I don't know about you guys, but this exercise is like so indicative of my dominant leg. So for me, it's so much harder to press that left heel into the floor, but so much easier to rely on my right leg here as I float my left leg up. Just a couple more here. Two, and press. One and press, lower down in neutral. Awesome, okay. Go ahead and get rid of your towel or just toss it off to the side. Hug your knees in towards your armpits. We're gonna go for a little flop, the flop I like to call it. We're just opening our knees to one side, rolling to your right. And then open them back up, roll all the way to your left. Allow the spine to move somewhat sequentially here so it doesn't have to be super blocky, right? Try to smooth out the transition from right to left. Should feel good, like a little moment for your low back and your hips to relax. Last one. Great, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and roll onto our bellies. So. This whole series is inspired by pulling straps. If you guys are, if you guys remember that, I think we've all done it. 
So if you were on the reformer, you'd be on the box on your belly and your arms would be holding onto the straps. So I'm actually gonna start this one with my arms in a T position and just imagine that I'm holding onto those straps. My legs are slightly separated. I'm drawing my navel up and in like crazy. So this becomes <clears throat> a pretty heavy duty ab exercise. Both hip bones and my pubic bone are trying to equally reach towards the floor. Shoulder blades down. As you gently float the chest up just a couple inches, pull the shoulder blades down, and then float the arms off the floor a couple inches as well. So just a little baby hover over the floor with your arms and your torso, feeling all those wonderful mid-back muscles starting to work, and then just rest it back down. Same thing, chest lifts, shoulders go down, arms lift, and then rest it back down. Two more like that, lift up, and float it down. One more, up you go, and float it down. Okay, now we're gonna add the pulling part. And um, just so you know, to make this harder, your legs are gonna be hovering a couple inches the whole time. So it's up to you. I'm gonna leave it up to you. See how your low back feels with this one. We float the chest and arms up, maybe the legs. Make fists, like you're really pulling on two straps to bring the arms down by your sides. See if you can touch those pinky fingers to your thighs. And then back out to your T. Squeeze your arms to your sides. Touch those pinkies to your thighs. And back to your T. Keep going for me for three. And out. Two. And out. One more. Oh, squeeze. And out. Rest it all down. Take your hands underneath one cheek. Rest your head down. Bend your knees and just allow your shins to swivel side to side. Should feel nice after some of that back work. Okay, so just to solidify our whole back chain, which we all need desperately from spending too much time probably in front of the computer right now, we're gonna do a little swimming, but I'm gonna do a slow version of, sw of swimming. So I'm making an X with my body. Arms are nice and wide, legs are wide. Belly button in. I might be turning my head so that you can hear my voice, but your head is facing the floor with your gaze down. So your neck is long, shoulders down. We're just gonna start by lifting the chest a little bit. The arms and legs are both still on the floor. Reach as long as you can through the entire spine. From here, the right arm and left leg lift a few inches off the floor. So it's the opposite arm and leg. And then they lower down. Left arm and right leg lift up. Lift and lower down. Keep drawing the belly button in as you lift and lower. Alternating, lift and lower. I know we're going slow today so that we can really work on our form. Shoulder blades down. Ribs trying to come together in front. Oh, as best you can. Yes, make it an ab exercise. Good, we got one more on each side. Right arm, left leg. And lower. Left arm, right leg. And lower, beautiful. Oh, rest your head down, rest your chest down. Take your hands underneath your shoulders and press yourself back into a child's pose. All right, coming on to all fours. We're gonna do a couple versions of elephant here. Um, so you guys remember elephant, right? It's where your back is nice and rounded and you're almost like in an energetic way, pulsing your abs in, right? So we're letting the abdominal wall deepen its connection towards the spine. So for our first version of elephant, we're just going to be on all fours. We're going to find that rounded spine position. And I want you to allow your torso to shift forward towards your hands a little bit on this one. So rather than reaching back towards your bum, 
your heart is a little bit more placed right between your fingertips. We're gonna draw the belly in and draw the left knee in. We're gonna exhale three times to pulse it in. And then rest it down, right leg. And rest it down. See if you can deepen your front belly. Left. And rest right. Good, rest. Tuck the toes. Lift your tail up. So now we're in more of our classic elephant position. Walk your feet in just a little bit for me. And round your spine and continue to bring your heart between your fingertips, right? Try not to get caught back here. This is more like a downward dog. We want to reach the heart forward a little bit and keep that spine rounded. Now, we're going to try our best to pulse our left leg straight in. Here we go. And rest it down. Right leg. And rest it down. Left leg. Rest it down, right. Good. Go ahead and rest your knees down for me. Come up to a kneeling position. Just circle your wrists around like little flamingo dancers. Give your wrists a break before we go into the hardest version of elephant that I have for you today. So let's get ready for it. You guys ready? All right. Here we go. Hands underneath your shoulders. Now, instead of forming your elephant with your tail up high, we're gonna walk our feet back so that you're in almost like a high booty plank, right? Now, normally in plank, I wouldn't want you to find this position, but because we're not gonna exercise plank in this way for our whole lives, it's fine with me today. So the hardest version of elephant would be Draw your ribs in, keep your heart over your hands, and now we're gonna pulse the left knee towards the left tricep. Reach it back, right leg towards your tricep. Reach it back. If you can touch your knee to your tricep, you get extra points in my book. Could report to me at the end of class. Let me know how it went. Let's do one more on each side, my friends. Left. Draw the belly in. And right. Here we go. And reach it back. Lower the knees down. Come up to a kneeling position. Roll those shoulders around a couple times. Nice. Keep rolling your shoulders around. Just do a little time check. Okay, perfect. So we've got about five to 10 minutes of class left. If you need to roll, I will understand. It's just we started class a little late, so I'm gonna go over a little bit. We're gonna take our towel for chest expansion. So we press our towel into our thighs and try to draw those shoulder blades down, up and in. Pull your navel up and in, get tall through the spine. Imagine your knees or your feet, and you're standing strongly into the floor. We're gonna pulse it back. Pulse, 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 pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Reach that towel forward in space. Yep, and take a little twist and a little twist. Come back for pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach that towel forward, twist the other way first. And twist. Back to center. Here we go. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, reach it forward, twist, get tall, and twist, get tall, last set, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, oh my gosh, two, and one. Reach it forward, twist, and twist. Nice, little bicep curl. We're gonna go ahead and take one arm straight in front of us. Actually, sorry, one arm goes straight down. The other arm comes straight out. So I have one palm down and one palm up. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm kneeling and I'm gonna use the palm that's down to resist my bicep curl on my right arm. So I'm pulling one arm in, resisting and pressing it out. I'm gonna come down to my heels so you guys can see my whole body here. Pull and extend. So my right arm's doing the bicep curl. My left arm is staying straight to help me resist. Pull and pull. So I get a little tricep work on my left arm as my right bicep is working. Pull and pull for three, extend. And two, extend, last, one, extend. Let's switch. Left palm faces up, right palm faces down. Now it's my right arm that starts low. My left arm starts out in front of me. Bend into that left arm, pull with the right. Oh, even as that left arm is straightening, you're trying to resist by pulling with both arms together. Good. It's your new favorite exercise to do at home, right? Different version of bicep curls for three. And two, last one. All right, here's the grand kicker for me personally. We're gonna come to kneeling again, now the towel is at our booty, and my palms are facing forward. I'm gonna hinge forward with my whole neutral spine, so I'm not rounding, right? I'm just hinging forward, and my tail is back. I'm gonna lift my arms up. I'm gonna create a little slack on my towel by bringing my palms towards each other. Open the arms out, and then lower them down. Lift up, bring the palms towards each other. Out and down, belly draws in and up. And in and out and down. Keep going, three, in and down. For four, in and down. Five, in and down. Last one, six, in. And down, let's lift it up, press it in, little pulses up, here we go, for eight, seven, six, five, shoulders open, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up, get rid of your towel. Go ahead and find yourself on all fours again. We're gonna take our left foot to the outside of the left hand. Go ahead and sneak the right foot back in space, straighten through that leg, and allow the hips to drop gently towards the floor for a psoas stretch. If this is a comfortable position for you, like you're feeling okay, we'll add a little rotation. Left arm opens out, look up towards the sky. You need to wiggle your fingertips, make sure your eyes are following where the movement is going. And go ahead and come back down. Let's rest that knee down. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh. Reach your right arm all the way up. Give that so as a big stretch. And lower down. Nice. Let's change legs. Right foot comes to the outside of the right hand. 
tuck your left toes to straighten that left leg back behind you. Allow the pelvis to drop towards the floor for a psoas stretch. Just breathing here, sending lots of oxygen to your ligaments and your muscles. If this is feeling good for you, you can add a rotation. The right arm is going to open out, looking up towards the right fingertips here. And go ahead and bring it back down. Drop the knee. Place your right forearm onto your right thigh. Lift your left arm up. Big psoas stretch. And bringing the hands back down. Walk that foot back. And let's end with a couple more. Cat backs. Rounding the spine, extending the spine. Allow your eyes to follow the movement so they curl under you. And then they look forward and slightly up. One more time, curl it under. And looking forward and slightly Nice. Let's end with one more big breath. Finding a comfortable seated position. Sweeping your arms up to the side. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale to open those arms. And ground yourself. Thank you guys so much for coming. I would love your feedback. I have about a million ideas for this class.